There was another awful shooting, this one in South Carolina. A doctor, his wife, two of their young grandchildren among the five who were killed in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And tonight, authorities believe it was a former NFL player who killed them before killing himself. Tonight, we have the family picture of that doctor and wife. They had many grandchildren, and you can see the two there behind them who authorities say were victims in this too, along with an air conditioning technician who happened to be at the home, they say also killed. There was an hours long standoff with police and ABC's Will Reeve tonight in South Carolina. Tonight, authorities searching for a motive behind the horrific mass murder in the quiet town of Rock Hill, South Carolina. We've got four down. Four down the house. A prominent local doctor, Robert Leslie, his wife Barbara, and two grandchildren, nine year old Ada and five year old Noah, gunned down in their home. Outside, 38 year old James Lewis, who had been working at the property, also found dead. A co worker seriously wounded. Authorities launching a desperate manhunt. The description we're given was a black male wearing black clothing, carrying something red, possible automatic gun. That search would lead them to a former NFL player, Philip Adams, who was found barricaded inside his parents' home nearby. After an hours long standoff, police entered to find Adams dead of a self inflicted gunshot wound. Intercepted by Philip Adams. Adams spent six injury riddled seasons in the NFL, playing for six teams and suffering at least two concussions within a three-game period in 2012. He retired in 2015. Adams' father, Alonzo, telling a local station, WCNC, his son never bothered anybody. Well, I can say that he's a good kid. He was a good kid, and he, uh, I think the football messed him up. According to reports, Adams may have at one time been a patient of Dr. Leslie. The physician's friends and family left in shock by the gruesome killings. He was just an exceptional person. And to see this happen to him and his family is just, it's just tragic beyond words. Relatives of the victims releasing a statement today saying, we are in the midst of the unimaginable. There are no answers that will satisfy the question why. So far, investigators unable to answer that question. There's nothing about this right now that makes sense to any of us. Beloved in his community, Robert Leslie founded two local urgent care centers and worked as an ER doctor for decades. In a 2008 book titled Angels in the ER, Leslie wrote, I know without a doubt that life is fragile. Just another horrific story today. Will Reed joins us now from South Carolina tonight. And Will, I wanted to go back to that point you made in your report that there are unconfirmed reports that the suspect may have been a patient at some point of the doctor. Yes, David, the suspect's father said today that he had been treated himself by Dr. Leslie years ago. There are also reports that his son, Philip Adams, had been treated by Dr. Leslie as well, but police here would not confirm that today. That possibility is sure to be explored as they try to determine a motive for these killings. David. We'll certainly learn more in the hours and days ahead. We'll read tonight. Our thanks to you as well. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.